and we have Vladin opting to go Samus for the Ganon matchup. Pretty smart, if you ask me. I think the best way to deal with Ganon is just to make sure he can't hit you. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Starting off the match, we've got some good Samus stuff coming out from Vladin here. Just walling out this Ganondorf to the best of his ability. But Bahamut, the thing about Bahamut is he'll always find a way in. He'll expose whatever weakness you have in your play, whatever opening he can fi manage to find, and he will run with it, take it to the bank. Unfortunately, though, for him, it's looking like he's having a tough time getting stage control here. But this is an even game because, of course, that right there, those smash attacks, even like Ariel right now, will take Samus' stock. Both of these players in a pretty precarious, precarious situation. Neither of them wanting to be the one to lose their first stock. And it turns out that Valadin will be taking the first stock off of Lord Bahamut here. Valadin isn't even like running to the other side of the stage or anything. He's just playing just outside of Ganon's game. Not a game you want to be playing. And I love that catch there on the tether recovery. That was so smart there from Bahamut. Very, very good awareness right there. Getting him that stock. And I know the meme here is like, Ganon just needs two hits and this will be an even game. But like, I, I don't really think that's the case here. But as you can see, the down throw Nair right there dealing 30%, gather, getting on a little bit more. And now that is almost halfway to what he was at just now. But Ganon, being the heavy that he is, is going to be able to live. Is he going to be able to get back to the stage, though? Wow. Vladin calling out that wizard foot right there and having nothing, wanting nothing to do with that, refusing to let Ganon get back onto the stage here. Up air to forward air. That's a fun little combo right there for Samus. I like that. Getting some nice damage. And, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Vladimir's just doing such a good job preventing Lord Bahamut from playing the game that he wants to play so badly. It's also a uh, character toolkit. Like, you can kind of tell he, like, goes in for a missile, goes in for a fall, because most of your response is like, oh, there's a missile in my face. Aerial or jump out of shield, because I don't want to get, like... Pressured. Ooh. Oh. Almost landing the Doria right there, the but Vladim barely finding his way through that. That's going to allow him to clutch out that. Well, not really clutch out. It was a two stock, but. <laughs> 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 that, that, you, know, you know what was clutch? Just the cross up. That's what was clutch. I was like, okay, that was a clutch cross up. That, that, that was one of the best cross ups I've seen in this game. That was, that was sick. Enough time to actually turn her, go to the other side, turn around, and forward smash her opponent. That's a cross up. It's definitely a cross game. That's how much I like forest meshes. I mean, when you use the door, yeah, you got to know that's what you're getting yourself into, right? You have to know. You have to know what uh, the price of pay you pay for one of the most explosive moves in the game. Anyways, look already this this, this good edge guard. No, no, well, the tables it's gone now. are turning. <laughs> now it's gone. Down throw a bear that works. Ganon's a hit big hurt box, man. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, that, it, it hurts. Good spacing right there. And immediately able to just move away out of the out-of-shield option there. At this point, Veladin, oh, uh, man, you play a spacing game and literally Ganon just falls into anything you want. Yeah, and I'm honestly very surprised to see Ooh, Bahamut opting to go back to Stadium of all places for this game, too. I Yeah, you know what? I would probably pick, like, it's weird, but I do feel characters like Snake and even Samus do benefit off a game character, um, stage like Stadium. Wow, that was a good read. Mostly because he knew that Veladin wasn't going to go for an aerial out of the ledge out of fear of getting hit by Nair the way that Lord Bahana is tossing out. So that's what you call conditioning, man. That's what happens when you already applied shampoo, you washed it off, and you just apply conditioning, and your opponent's like, what? It just happened. Hey, remember to shower, guys. Yeah, please. Then, then even just like showerly hygiene, just brush your teeth too, man. Come on. Yeah, brush your teeth, brush your hair, shave, do all that stuff, man. You gotta, you gotta be looking fresh, and you gotta be feeling fresh yeah. if you want to smash at the high level. Tell him that. Oh, you. I mean, right now, this is Edgeguard here looking fresh from Veladin because it's very different from what I've seen last game. 
already tossing out the bomb boss, so he knows Muhammad feels the pressure. Like I said, tossing the missile, you have to react to it eventually out of there. And Valada with the call out wasn't able to get much, but still he kind of knows that like, the Bahamut's so behind that being in shield for him right now is scary. But at this point, like, Bahamut is behind in a sense where Valada has control, but he's winning in a sense where, like, I still have my third stock. Yeah, this is pretty weird, right? As far as leads go, this isn't as convincing as you might think. Yeah. Because honestly, Vladan just gets the stock here, and then he could just go back to the turtle camping game. That's the thing, though. Bahamut could just as easily get the stock here, yeah. and then the lead will be very convincing. That's what makes a character like Ganondorf, honestly, in my opinion, high tier, because he's like explosive damage, solid frame data. Maybe not the best frame data, but it's at least decent for what it is. And then only that, he, he's got like, he's a heavyweight too. Yeah, of course, Ganon's weaknesses are just as well defined, but I mean, Ganon is not the utter trash he was in previous installments anymore. Oh man, neither, neither is a Samus, dude. Yeah, Sa Samus. <laughs> Samus has been trash for a hot minute, and then now she's like, oh man, okay, hold on. She's actually pretty good in this game again. People haven't been talking about Samus enough in this game, I think. YB, man. We had a prime stock, and YB showed up. Yeah, that's Poop. right. Unfortunately, we'll never see YB again. Who knows? <laughs> That's all right. He had a good run. He had a good run. I mean, there's Quick from Droney. Also really good. Yeah. All right. I do like the fact that each time the Lion sets up the edge guard, he's kind of like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and fake you out with one move, charge my shot, and then react to you. And he has the spacing. So if Bahamut does come back with an area, he kind of has the spacing enough to protect himself, but also go for a whiff punish. Oh, and he, fortunately, he chose the wrong role, and Bahamut was about to react. Oh, the oh. Doria, man. You hate to see it. You love to see it. That's the Doria right there. I wish that was the name of the sword, but I don't even know the name of the sword. Does it have a name? Uh, it, I think it does, but I'm pretty sure it's like we just don't know. Well, we're like calling it, it the Doria. Like in Smash 4, where the custom move, it was the, I think it was like the Sage's Sword. Oh, from, yeah, uh, that's right. From, from Twilight Princess. Yeah, the Warlock Punch, but with a sword. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that meme? It's like based off Aladdin, where it's Abu and he has a sword. And it's like, oh no, he has a sword. And it's like all the fireman characters, you fools. Yep, we all yep. have swords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like to fight Ganon. Exactly. Especially when your character has a sword. Like, Ganon has a sword, but you all have swords. Here, here's a question for you. Which would you rather have Ganon have in this game? Smash 4 up smash or ultimate up smash? Ultimate up smash. That's, that's, uh, dude, that range? Ridiculous. He was able to just take a, a whole game against Vlad and just reading the roll there. It covers roll. But that frame data on the Smash 4 one? Oh, oh yeah, it was something. It was something. For sure. You're right. Maybe. And again, you can't have all the tools. In they're, the they're both pretty amazing, not going to lie. Look, look at yeah, that. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what? He's helping your case right here. Exactly. Oh, man. I'm safe on shield, man. That's negative on shield. Watch the back air. Three frame jump squad always coming in clutch. Ooh. Oh, what a stall. What a stall. Because wow, that was, yeah. My man stalled. That was good because he knew he was going to have to come back and land. There is the flame choke and unfortunately misses the tech option, but he sees the fact that I got Valetta in the corner. Only The only thing you fail when you get when you get corner carried is pressure, and he knew yep. he was going to jump out of it. Yeah, that was such an intelligent play right there, but Valetta just not caring about that wizard's foot. What a quick and efficient punish that was. Oh, nice up there. Give me another one. Oh, they're even going for go 41, <laughs> and people talk about Ganon's damage output, man. Look at Samus right here. It was cute because he didn't even go for the platform reset. He just kept <laughs> just went for the finisher. Oh, that was such a scary situation right oh, there. Oh, nice. Good there. What a poke. The thing about Ganon, sometimes you'll just make it back on stage, but it doesn't matter because you just get knocked back off stage again anyway. Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing right here. He has like, poor landing options. I mean, he only has dive kick. He's had to get back to ledge about three times here and hasn't landed a single hit during that time. Man, those are some PG stats backs. Make that four. Look at that. <laughs> so much time spent on the ledge, man. He might as well go watch a movie while he's down there. All right, sets up another bomb ball. I, that's the thing, too, is that the fact that they're going downwards, too, it kind of makes it hard for Gan to make that low recovery because he is going to have to face one of them. I mean, but I can confirm off of them eventually. Uh, I can't remember the percent, but you can just actually look, 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 look at that. Yeah, what, what are you supposed to do as Ganon right there? Yeah, oh, and he knew. He wow. knew he was cornered. I'm telling you, when you're cornered from, when you get cornered, you're uh, literally just going to try to get out there. And, of course, that's one of Ganon's get out of the corner options. I feel like Valadin is starting to get in Bahamut's head here. Oh, okay. That was cute. That was cute. I thought he was going to go for the forward and go down with it, but 
Yeah, no, he had a whole stock. I would have not he believed him. Man, got the grab out of the charge shot. That was something. I appreciate the up tilt attempt. Didn't even really get punished that hard. No. Oh Wait, no. Okay. Wait for it. Oh. Oh no. I knew no. the up smash was coming. How did that miss? Oh. Man? My man was hungry. He, he even went for, he went for all smash tags. He went for a full demonstration. I saw Bahamut was trying to parry that super missile, but that has such bizarre timing on it because it just stops for a while and then it zooms forward. Yeah, the timing. Oh, oh. first hit net. What? That's he it, converted? That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, you know, he might have a chance to come back. Yeah, oh, man. Wow. Oof. I'm amazed he converted off first hit in there. I do like the... Oh, there oh, was okay. a say there's a back end shield. That'll do it. I did like the fact that Veladin went for that option, back out of shield, but I do like the fact that he also, like, he makes small pokes here and there, and then it kind of just pressures um, Bahamut to, like, oh, I gotta let go of shield. I gotta get out of here. And then he gets hit. Yep. So Vlad